previous class. Myself, Swati Kadam, working in Kekiva English School, Saraswati Nagar, Nasi. Students, we can find calendar. It is very common thing at everyone's house. So, do you know that for what purpose we use the calendar? Yes, to find the month or day or year, we use the calendar. The other question is that wherever you want to get ready for the school. On that time also continuously you are watching towards, yes, towards the clock. To, to, to come to know that how much time is left to uh, go for the school. It means that because of the clock, you come to know the time. Because of the calendar, you come to know the day, month and year. So students, today we are going to learn the information about this time. With the help of our fifth number chapter that is understanding time. See students, the time has three parts. The time which has passed by, that's called the past. The time which is going now, that's called the present. And the time which not yet to come, that's called the future. For example, today is a Monday. So here the word today is show us the present. Yesterday my granny told me very nice story. So in this sentence the word yesterday shows us the past. And tomorrow is my birthday. So here the word tomorrow shows shows us the future. It means that the time has three parts that are the past, present and future. We understand this time with the help of different instruments such as a clock, then after school timetable and calendar. Whenever we want to study for the history, means whenever we want to study of the history subject on, on that time, to understand time it is very important. We got the old statues, coins, shards of pottery. These things we got when we digging the foundation for the building. Then after all these things, studies, uh, all uh, studies and after the studies we come to know that these things belong to which particular time period? Means from study we come to know that all these things belong to which time period? And from that we come to understand the particular information about that time. Students, for example newspaper. See here, the today newspaper become old tomorrow. Means whatever the information we read in the uh, newspaper today, that information when I will read tomorrow, that will become, that will become what? Yes, that will become old. But whenever in future, when we don't get any information or we, uh, we don't remember any information, on that time again we search the old newspaper and then we find that information. It means that the today's newspaper becomes tomorrow's the important means of information. And that gives us the information. It means that it is the important means of info, to get the information for the history. Now tell me student, how do we measure the time? You don't know. Okay, so now I will tell you. So students see, we measure the time with the help of, we measure the time with the help of different instruments. Like the clock, Hourglass, calendars, with the help of these instruments we measure the time. We divide the time into seconds, minutes and hours. Now see you can observe in this clock. Here you can see it's a minute stick. Here this short stick shows us the hour. And here we can see it's a second stick. So it means that we divide the time into minutes, second and hour. We also divide the time into months year, fortnight, day and night and then after we measure it. Means with the help of these instruments we measure the time also. Then after 
in the 14th of century in the europe the hour glass has come so now you can observe the hour glass also See students, it is the figure of the hour glass. So in this in this type of hour glass has started to use in the 14th century, first time in the Europe. So students, here you can see here the two glass vessels have connected with each other with the short hole. And here is the wooden frame you can see it fixed in the wooden frame. And very dry sand poured into it. And within the one hour, that sand, see, suppose it is a sand, and it pours within the one hour.